Live for a thousand years, man. Right. I mean, because when you think about it, a thousand years, that's a that's a long time. Right, yeah. You know, yeah. To, to, to be yeah. building up a kingdom, that's, yeah. a, that's a long yeah. time. Because our kingdom going to be perfect. It's going to yeah. take that long. It's going to take that long. <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't mean that a thousand years and that's it. It's nah, over right, with. Right, right. No. That's just how long it's going to take up to bring the, the, uh, the, the build the kingdom up that's right. and it's perfection. Nah. All right? But hey, the elect are going to be immortal and they're going to live forever, man. Which is heavy because it's going to take a thousand years. You know, uh, it's going to take a thousand years uh, 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 for our kingdom to truly start in its perfection. Heavy. Heavy. For it to truly be perfect. Heavy. It's going to take a thousand years in order for our kingdom Come to on, start. Come on, man. That's so beautiful, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Let me get uh, real quick before we go back to Wisdom of Solomon. I'm going to have you uh -huh. read the verses again. But let's go to 1 Thessalonians 4 14. and 14 down to uh, about 18. Because I want to read that in the NLT because it's heavy. Oh, shit. Right. Matter of fact, read it read it through and then get it in the NLT, Bob. Okay. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 14. Speak a little louder, Akia. For if we believe that the that Yahushai Hamashiach died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahushai, will Yahweh bring with him? Mm -hmm. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of, of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Mm -hmm. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven without a shout and with a voice of the archangel and with the trumpet and with, uh, so like, and with the trump of Yahweh and the dead and Hamashiach shall rise first. Yeah, so you you going to ultimately, if you die, you believe in Yahweh Shemel Shai, you die for this thing, the Lord going to raise you back up. Yeah. And then you're going to get that reward, man. Which shows you, because it says, although they died, um, it would not prevent them Meaning just because they died, because we, we, we've had our elders and apostles, um, uh, uh, elders, some of them died, they still gonna get the reward. Exactly. They in the spirit where they still get the reward. Come on, man. So even though they died, don't mean that the reward ain't gonna come. Yeah. The reward ain't gonna come. Yeah, them. it's not the end. Nope. Just a quick uh, Sirach four and twenty eight. <laughs> Strive for the truth unto death, yep. and the Lord shall fight for you. Go ahead, brother. Fight, man. So all you gotta do is keep fighting even until your death. Hey, and the Lord still gonna fight for you. So if you if, if you die and that's sick, then won't the Lord fight you? Yep. If that was it. Right, right. That's right. I yep. got another precept just to go off of what you're saying because it's, it's, it's also appealing to the Lord that you went that far yep. for, for his word. Yep. This is Psalm 116 and 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord Yahweh is the death of his saints. So, you know, it's it's, yeah. it's it's not like when you pass away, it's like, oh, that's it. Nah, like that's that's admirable. You died righteously. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You, you died see? with integrity. Yep. Yeah. I'm like a nigga out here in the world got shot up by a bunch of niggas yeah. in a drug deal. That's mm -hmm. a dishonorable death. Yeah, right. You see what I'm saying? Yep. You live righteously. That's precious. Yep. That's that was it. Beautiful. This is, um. you, you want him to read that again? Uh, you said uh, down to 18? Down to 18. 18, okay. Yeah, then how you read that again. Okay. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Yeah, so the ones that didn't taste death, they're gonna be caught up into the uh, to the clouds and to the chariots. Go ahead. To meet the Lord in the air. Uh-huh. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Uh-huh. Wherefore comfort, therefore, wherefore comfort one another with these words. Now I want to read this in the NLT just to make it a little clear. All right? Because the point of the matter, those that die in the faith, they're gonna be raised up again, man. Okay? This is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 14. If it says, "For since we believe, for since we believe that Yahweh Shai died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Yahweh Shai returns, the Most High will bring back with him the believers who have died." Come on, man! You gonna be the first ones on the chariot? Yep. That's heavy. Go ahead. We tell you this directly from the Lord. It says, "We who are still living, when the Lord returns, will not meet him ahead of those." Who have died. Yeah, yeah, because they're gonna be on the chariots first. They're gonna be like, man, what took y'all? Yeah, yeah, they're gonna be waiting on they're gonna be waiting on you. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, man. Yep. See, a nigga think when you die, it just fades to black. Right. Your body decomposed in the earth, and that's it. Hey, that's, you know? the, that's the way the wicked think it tell you that in the wisdom of Solomon too. You know what I'm saying? The first uh three chapters. In the first three verses, I think. Come. Verse 16. In the NLT, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16, for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout with the voice of the archangel. See, hey, you gonna, hey, the elect are actually gonna hear the voice of the Lord, man. Yep. Okay, as they're called up into the heavens. Yep. Go ahead. And with the trumpet call of the Most High. First, the Christians 
who have died will rise from their graves. That's true, man. Verse 17. Which we know that's the Israelites. Right. The, follow, yeah. the, the followers of the anointed. Thank you. The Israelites are the only followers of the anointed. Verse 17. Then together with them, it says, then together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. So encourage each other with these words. Beautiful, man. So that's the thing, man. So the, the reason why, yeah, you bring it out. The reason why I, uh, you know, had that read is because, look, the ones that die, they, they're going to they're gonna be raised up again, man. They're going to be the first ones on the chariots, man. Okay? Waiting on that reward. Okay? Which is the kingdom of heaven. The new bodies, man. Living forever, man. You know, us being back in our perfect, righteous state forever, man. Never going off again. You see? What you was holding Precept out. for you. God. Here it is. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Yep. Behold, I will show you a mystery. And this is that mystery we just we just read about. Here's the mystery. Heavy. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Meaning look at those perfect bodies. Beautiful. As we as we uh, Lord willing, or uh, the elect of that number ascend up into the chariots. Beautiful. We gotta have those perfect bodies before we in the presence of the Lord. God. And the angels. Go ahead. Verse 52. In a moment. In a moment, it's gonna happen. In the twinkling of an eye. Like that, boom. At the last trump. At the last trump, this is gonna be the destruction. That's speaking about the destruction. So b before the missiles hit this place, the elect are gonna get up out of here. Yeah. And in the various places where they're scattered, go ahead. For the trumpet shall sound. Uh huh. And the dead shall ra shall be raised uh -huh. incorruptible. The dead gonna be raised incorruptible, which get which is being given those perfect bodies. Go ahead. And we shall be changed. And we gonna be changed. We ain't gonna be like this. Because the scriptures say we don't we do not yet know what we shall be. You know, we don't know exactly how our bodies are gonna look or exactly how this is gonna take place. Because when you think about that, if you ever ponder on that, that's gonna be that, that's gonna be supernatural. God. That's gonna be beyond human comprehension. Man. You see? You know, because it tells you that in wisdom of Solomon the fifth five, chapter. Five and two, I got it. Yep. Matter of fact, I got a little bit more. God. So when this corruptible shall have Put on incorruption. Well, we gonna drop this body and go into that, that, that righteous body. Put on perfection. It gonna put on perfection. Just like Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And this mortal shall have put on immortality. That's what, that, that's what the promises we've been speaking about is coming to us. It's immortality. Go ahead. This shall be brought to pass the same mm -hmm. that is written. Yep. Death is swallowed up in victory. That de death is uh, 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 is swallowed up in, in victory. Death. Meaning we ain't gonna die no more. Yeah. Go ahead. And sin, and sin will no longer reign upon us. Yep. Because, because sin is what brought forth death. Come on. So lock it. You're good. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Yep. Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Yep. We're going we're gonna to defeat death just like how Yahweh Shai defeated death. Yep. That's heaven. Yep. It's just going off what, what y'all brothers were saying. Verse 56, the yep. sting of death is sin. Yep. <coughs> so lock it. And the strength of sin is the law. I mean, the law is going to be in us perfect. Man. So we ain't going to have to worry. We ain't going to even think or, or, or do anything that's, that's wicked. Go ahead. But thanks be to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which giveth us the victory. Meaning we already got the victory now. We just got to run the course. Man. We just got to run the rest of the race. Because if the elect names are written in the book of life already, that means that it's already preordained and predestined yeah. that the elect are going to make it out of here. Now, I heard Elder Yashawamba say it a few times. You know, one of the indicators of the elect today is who will be doing the things that the Bible says that, that they will be doing. Exactly. They would actually be performing those things right now. Exactly. You see, that's a, that's an indicator. You see through the spirit. We almost done with that. I'm gonna reread this. But yep. thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yep. The victory comes through Yahweh Shai's blood. Go ahead. Therefore, my beloved brethren. Yep. Be ye steadfast. Hey, hey. Be all in, you know, be steadfast. Be all in for the truth. Unmovable. Unmovable. Don't be tossed by every wind of doctrine. Rooted. No, no, yeah, be rooted. Don't get scared when shit get a little rough. It's okay. The Lord said it was gonna, it was gonna have to be this way. Done. That's just how it works, right? Go ahead. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. There it is right there. That, that's supposed to be the, in the up, of the utmost importance. Yep. It's, it's the work of the Lord. Being a brother, living righteously to the best of your ability. Go ahead. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain see, in the Lord. See, your, your labor ain't in vain. That's the point we keep coming back to. God. Everything that you do hey, is being recorded, and the Lord knows that. 
and he's not unrighteous to just leave you and say, oh, no, no, you did something in 1996, and that's it, I'm gonna get you for that. <laughs> Hell no, you gotta pay for that. God. That's God. not the most high. God. See? God. Real quick, got some. Just, uh, oh, you had some? No, no, okay. For you. Dealing with the new bodies. Uh, Second Ezra 6, mm -hmm. 25 and 26, all right? You know, because we were talking about, you brought up the scriptures in uh, 1 Corinthians 15 about us being changed. Yep. All right, us being delivered out of these corruptible bodies, all right, and put it in what? It, it, into in, incorruptible bodies, man. Yep. Being perfected. Go ahead. Second Ezra 6, 25 and 26. Second Ezra 6 and 25. Whosoever remaineth from all, from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your in, in the end of your world. Man, go ahead. And 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 the men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the inhabitant the inhabitants shall be changed and, and turned into another meaning. Right, and that, that represents those new bodies. That's the point. The hearts of the inhabitants shall, ch shall be changed. What it say? It said the uh, Salakia says the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning because we're going to be made perfect, man. Yep. Okay, we actually have a perfect spiritual body. I, I gotta get it. Second Corinthians, right? Second Corinthians five. Start, Start at the top. top. <laughs> that's that's waiting for us, yeah, man. That's right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because hey, Yahweh Shai is going to change. We're going to get some scriptures on that too. Yep. Hey, hold for me real quick. Um, First John three and two and three. So we're, gonna talk, we're gonna talk about how Yahweh Shah gonna change. It's all part of that. Go ahead, up. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. Yep. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved. Yeah, this 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 uh this corruptible body. Go ahead. We have a building of power. And house. Oh, it's like, it's like. A house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Read that again, up. Yep. Done. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, yep. we have a building of God and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Yeah, we have a spiritual body waiting for us in the heavens, man. Okay, go ahead. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. Right, so it said earnestly in this we groan, man. You know, we can't wait to be taken out of this this uh, uh, this corruption, man. You know, we yearn to be to be made perfect like Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. You know, here it is in this flesh. You got wicked ass thoughts. You got you can get demons on you, right? The, this flesh is, yep. is wicked. Yep. Lust. You know all all the things that we have to endure in in, the, in these bodies. So we we yearn for that perfect body. Go ahead. Verse three. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning without uh, without uh, without the truth. Go ahead. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan. Uh huh. Being burdened. Being burdened. Yeah, hey, it's hell in this flesh, man. Yep. Body breaking down. Yep. Joints all fucked up. You know, mind. You know. Yep. Your mind ain't right. Yep. Your spirit get weary in this place. Come on, man. Hey, hey, hey. The, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. It's hard. It's hard. And it's hard. It's hard living righteous. Come on, man. Because you see, some, the, the wicked, so much fucking wickedness around It's here. easy to be wicked. Yeah. <laughs> you know? For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, mm -hmm. being burdened. Not for that what we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up that of more, life. That mortality might be swallowed up of life because, yep. hey, we coming to the point when we get changed, we're going to be immortal. Yep. We're going to live forever and be righteous forever, man. Yep. Any more? Um, now that's it. Quick precept for yep. you before we go to the first John. God. Right. Just to add it's on to Wisdom that. of Solomon 9 and 15, uh, 14. Yep. Uh -huh. For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable. That, that's, that's being here in this body on this earth. The, the thoughts of men are miserable. Your mind, thinking about your mind being weary. Our time here is, is miserable. Apostle Gabar, I put it on my page about two months ago. He was he had a, he had, he had a stretch. We were speaking about how, how, how this is a, 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 a terrible, you know, being in this earth is terrible. Just the merely being here, breathing the air, having to live, you know, amongst all of this wickedness. Yeah, yeah. Like this is terrible, man. We need to be delivered. Go ahead. 
and the devices are but uncertain. Yeah, everything in this life is, is uncertain. The only thing that's certain is this word, see? So all of my people that believe in anything but this word, and all of that is uncertain. Yep. Meaning at some point it's gonna come to not. Go ahead. Yep. For the corruptible body, uh, press it down the soul. See, 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 it, 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 it's your spirit, once again, is willing, but your flesh is weak. Yeah. It's this body that's doing what? Fighting against your spirit. Born with the flesh. Yeah. And the earthly tabernacle wet, weigheth down the mind and must and must have up the uh, the, man, the manly thing. Yeah. And the hardy and and hardly do we guess or write at things that are upon the earth. Yep. With labor do we find things that are before us. Uh huh. But the things that are in heaven. Yep. Who ascend, Who have who have ascend, who have searched out? Who have searched those things out? Which is the Holy Spirit is going to tell us that has given us the understanding of the things that's going on in the heavens and the understanding of the things that's going on here on the earth. And thy counsel, who have known except thou give thou thou give wisdom and sent the Holy Spirit from above. See, the Holy Spirit's been sent from above to the believers to be able to understand this now. That we do have a body in the heavens. That when you die, you don't evaporate. <laughs> you know, you don't go to purgatory. Right. There ain't no place in the middle of earth where people burning up forever, being tormented by a man in a latex suit. Poking you in the butt. None of these fables. These cunningly devised fables. Right. Because now the Holy Spirit does, does, does descend it, you know, from above to the believers. So no more are we are, are we out here, you know, uh, uh, just flapping with the damn wind. Yep. Tossed to and fro. You know, we ain't blowing like the wind no more. We got the truth now. Now, now, now we can be firm. You got it, bro. For so the ways of them which lived the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee. Yep. And we're saved through wisdom. We're, we're gonna be saved, Lord willing, through wisdom. I yep. got that for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, you got it. We're gonna be saved, Lord willing, through wisdom. The Lord don't like. I said it a couple weeks ago in camp. Lord, the, the Lord ain't dealing with dummies. The Lord ain't dealing with no dummies. He said He only loves those that dwell with wisdom. That's right. That's the ones that come back to get the knowledge of, the, of His word and abide in it. That's, That's right. who the Lord loves. That's right. Everybody else, well, hey, you asked out. First John three and verse two, and it reads, "Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High." Yep. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be, yep. but we know that when he shall appear, when he shall appear, which is Yahweh Shai, go ahead. We shall be like him. We're gonna be like him. Okay? So we're gonna be like we're gonna be like the Lord Himself, man. So we're gonna be immortal. We're gonna live forever. Go ahead. For we shall see him as he is. So that shows you that we have to have another body in order to even stand before the Lord, yep. man. That's the only way we're going to be able to see Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai as he is in his full glory. Anymore? Verse 3. And every man that hath this hope in him purified himself even as he is pure. Give me Philippians uh, uh, 3, verses 20 and 21. And somebody else give me Zechariah 12 and 8. All right? Because Yahweh Shai is going to change us. Lord willing, we are that elect. Okay? Thus said the scriptures. Okay? We're 8. If we are those men, hey, we literally gonna be gods on the earth. That's right. Okay? That's the house of David. All right? Those those chosen spirits are gonna be literally God's powers on the earth, man. All right, what is it called? The uh, as we read in first Corinthians uh first Corinthians 15, extraterrestrial? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Supernatural beings on the earth, yep. man. You know? He said uh three and uh Philippians three and twenty and twenty-one. God, this is Philippians three and twenty. For our conversation is in the heaven. Yeah. From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who shall change our vile bodies. Who Ooh. shall change our vile bodies. Ooh. These bodies that we're in, our spirits are trapped in, these chains of darkness, yeah. this corruptible flesh, we got to be changed and delivered out of this. Yeah. Go ahead. That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. So the, the Lord is going to change our vile bodies that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, man. You see that? According to this, according to the working, whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. All right, so these are the things that we're patiently waiting on. Just going back, as I keep re, uh, uh, reiterating in this lesson, is that that great reward is on yeah. its way, man. Oh, yeah. All right? Give me that Zechariah 12 and 8. Zechariah... 12 and verse 8. In the day, in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem 
and he that is feeble among them, that day shall be as David. Woo! Yep. And the house of David, and the house of David shall be as Yahweh Yahweh Shah. They said, and the house of David shall be as Yahweh Yahweh Shah. The house of David shall be as God, right? Yep. Go ahead. As the angel of the Lord before them. There you go. Any more? Was that it? Yeah, so the point, the elect, the remnant, the house of David are going to be like Yahweh Shah, man. The 144,000. Literal, literal gods on the earth, man. You see that? Let's go back to that wisdom. You have something? Oh, no, you, uh, you go ahead. Let's go back to that wisdom of Solomon 3. I just want to make that <laughs> point. Because brothers was talking about what? Being changed, those new bodies. Yep. You know? Yep. So let's let's go back and read those verses again. Was it verses? Um, one, one down five. Yeah, one down to five. Well, really one down to like ten. Bible for sure. Um, wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. Yep. Mm -hmm. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Yeah, yet at the end, their hope is, is full of immortality. As we read earlier in the uh, second Ezra, the seventh chapter, that basically the day of doom shall be first, but then, the, in, but in the end, it's going to come immortality. Go ahead. Verse five. And having been a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh have proved them and found them worthy for Himself. Yep. As gold in the furnace. Have he tried them and received them as burnt offerings? Right, because that hell, all right, that persecution, that's all part of the elect being that sacrifice, man. Romans 12 chapter tells you what? To make your body a living sacrifice, man. What we do, all right, the prophets that you see that are prophesied on the four corners of the earth, all right, we've made ourselves that sacrifice upon the altar, man. Christ, you know? I need to tell you, uh, as your Howard Shai has uh, suffered for you, on themselves likewise in yep. the same mindset. Yep. Right? Yeah, that's so right. that's as you make getting ready for that sacrifice of that, of that persecution to come. Right? Come. For in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run and, so like, and run to and fro like sparks among the stars. Right, because the elect are gonna be raised up with power. Going back to those new bodies. They're gonna shine and run through like sparks among the stubble, man. That's power. Go ahead. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. Right, that's part of the reward. Yep, reign forever. They, they, they shall yep. reign forever. Yep. They shall have judgment and, 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 and have dominion over the people. Yep, that's why we go so hard. Why? When you when you hear and you, and you learn these things, how could you not? That's why we go so hard. That's why we have faith. We got faith in the words of the Lord now. These niggas got empty, vain faith. They, they put their faith in the world, yep. and the Lord about to make that shit disappear. Come on, man. But, but our faith and our hope is not in vain. I got a quick precept. What you got up? This is Romans 8 and 17. And if children, then heirs, yep. heirs of Yahweh and joint heirs with Hamashiach. And when you look up uh, joint heirs in the blue letter, that goes to like joint participants. Yeah. So you got to partake in whatever comes as well. Yeah. Whatever Yahweh Shah is going to receive, <laughs> he going he gonna to give it to his men. God. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. <laughs> and that just goes back also to going into the uh, the fact that what we go through is not gonna be forsook. In vain. Yep. It's not gonna be in vain. Yep. Good. Jumping back, verse nine. They that put their trust in him, uh, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Exactly. <laughs> they that put their trust in Yahweh yep. Shema was shy. Yep. Is going to understand this truth accurately, man. Yep. All right, through the Holy Spirit, the yep. Rakakwadash. Go ahead. As such, as such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for for grace and mercy to his saints, and he have care for his elect. And he have care for his elect. Yep. All right. Not all the Israel, but yep. uh, the elect. Yep. That's what this whole thing is about. Yep. Go ahead, Op. Verse 10. 
but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination, yep. which have neglected the righteousness and forsaken the Lord. Right, right, right. So we're at that time, man. Yep. All right, where the unrighteous is about to be judged, but the righteous are going to be set up. Yep. All right, with the with the with the uh, eternal glory, man. Yep. With full power, dominion, that reward as I keep going into, man. Yep. Can somebody hold Revelation 2, 25 to 26? Yep. Whatever you got. Yep. I got something for you. Um, bro, you, um, we'll let bro get that. Revelation 2, 25, 26. I want you to read this for me. Yep. This is uh, Jeremiah 23 and then 5 and 6. Uh, yeah, the NLT. Brother, go read this in the NLT. Jeremiah 23, 5 and 6. Just, just going into the point that, that we, we keep reiterating, which is... That immortality, which first is that clemency, which is going to be the exemption from judgment. Yep. That mark up the wild, Lord willing, we're fighting to get that. And then with that, <laughs> then come all the promises. Because these niggas got to get judged. Lord, we're about to get into. <laughs> these niggas got to, you see these niggas? They got to get judged. The Lord's going to kill these damn uh, Israelites out here, and, and, and they're going to die in their sins. You yep. see? Because they, they refuse to repent. It's that simple. That's what's so important about coming coming into this into this uh, spiritual arc in these last days. Yep. But see, they don't think that we're in the time to know again. You see? They think that the spirit that they're in is, is, is some new thing. Well, oh, yeah, man, you, you know, we're in a new era, a new age. Yep. We're in a modern society and all of that. That's why these niggas going to die thinking that way. Yep. So now you're trying to marginalize the most out of the time. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, oh. you know, uh, Esau has so many of these, uh, these end of the world, uh, like pretty much... Uh, it's in the world uh, plans like you know you had the H1N1 and yep. you had you know uh, before they were uh, swine flu like Sorry, it was like every two, yep. two three years it was like a new thing so now Jake just ah nah this shit yep. has yep. ah this ain't the yep. end of the world so yep. Jake he, he's replacing it what he's doing yep. he's comfortable right so like, he, 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 he comfortable he content this is Jeremiah 23 and 5 in the NOT yep for the time is coming yep the time is coming says the Lord Yahweh when I will raise up a righteous descendant from King David's line. Yeah, which is once again, the 144,000 in the house of David. That line is waking, standing up right now. So the, the, the time the Lord is speaking about is coming to pass right now. We're actually living this. Lord willing, we are up that line. Go ahead. He will be a king who rules with wisdom. He'll be a king that rules, that rules with wisdom. He will do what is just and right throughout the land. Uh-huh, keep going. Verse six. And this will be his name. The Lord Yahweh is our righteousness. Which is Yahweh Tazadat yep. Which is, Yahweh means he is and our righteousness. So, the, so it says this is his name. Yahweh our righteousness. He is our righteousness. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that is our righteousness. You see, that's our covering. What covering do these niggas have though? <laughs> we have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh our righteousness. He is our righteousness. God. What is their righteousness? Right. You see? They gonna have on the dirty garments. Yeah. And the Lord gonna say, nah, you can't partake in this. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have the clean garments on, meaning you gotta repent. Yeah. You see, go ahead. In that day, Judah will be saved. In that day, Judah's gonna be saved. And Israel will live in safety. The northern and southern kingdom, you know, the elect of the northern and southern kingdom that, 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 that's been, um, that, that, that's been um, foretold since the beginning of the world to receive, to be in receipt of salvation, they gonna dwell safely. They gonna be okay, they gonna be in the chariots. Watching this shit get blown up. Yeah. You see? Watching all kind of destruction going on on the earth. Yeah. You see? That's what's coming. That those are the promises. Exactly. Yeah, how our righteousness is, is gonna be our covering. Yeah. We just gotta keep going. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Beautiful. Matter of fact, before we get that add on, give me Revelation 21. Mm -hmm. You know? Because like, like the brother said, you know, the elect are gonna be upon the chariots, watching the, the destruction of Babylon in various parts of the world. But after that's resided. They're going to come out of those chariots with those new bodies, man. All right? Those perfect uh, those perfect bodies, man. Completely righteous. Let's get that. Revelation 21, starting top. top. Yep. Read down to like 3 to 4. Yep. Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Right, so this is what, what, uh, what, what John the Revelator saw. All right? This is dealing with what? The post-destruction. Yep. After the chaos and destruction uh, consumes Babylon and various parts of the world. He said he saw a new heaven and a new earth. Okay, go ahead. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Right, so this age that we're living in right now was passed away. Yep. It was totally destroyed. Go ahead. And there was no more sea. Verse 2. And I, John, saw this, the holy city, New Jerusalem, right. 
That's the elect. Yep. That's the holy city. Israel is a people before it's a place. That's right. So that's the elect. All right, go ahead. Coming down from, from God out of heaven. Right, so that's the elect with those new glorious bodies. All right, coming down out of the chariots. Go ahead. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Man, next level. Yep. You got to understand that, man. Yep. All right? That's that beautiful, comely, delicate woman. Man, that's beautiful. When the Lord changes the elect, man, Ooh. it's going to be a whole nother level, a whole nother vibration, a whole nother spirit on the earth, man. All right? Great. And when the elect come down, that's the takeover. <laughs> All right, that's that bright burn, right? Ooh, ooh, take the world. Remember, he had the red eyes. Ooh, wait. Take the world. Take the world. Esau's over for your that, ass. That's what's coming because hey, you're gonna have survivors. Yep. That's gonna survive the nuclear yep. destruction. The elites. Yep. Of Esau, yep. the so-called Chinese. Yep. Moab, Ammon, Ishmael, yep. Ham. All right. You got you got uh, you got heathen leaders. Wealthy uh, so-called rich men. Yep, and their families. Their families that's going to survive. Hey, and the scriptures speak about we got to purge out the, the rebels got, as well. We got to purge out the rebels. Yep. That's the takeover. Yep. Keep going. Verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. The tabernacle of God is with men. Yep. All right? These are the 144,000 men, the elect. Let me add a quick precept on there. Quick. What you got, huh? Jeremiah 51 and 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the form of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Right, yep, yep. And that inheritance goes into those yep. promises, and also what? Those new bodies, man. Yep, yep. And we come back with the uh, power, man. The brother said something heavy, said that, hey, man, when Israel come back down, that's going to be the takeover. This is what the yep. Lord said. The Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Yep. For with thee will I break to pieces the nations, mm -hmm. and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Right, man. Hey, man, you can't do that with, with little niggas yeah, on the street, man. Right you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? But with, with that power that the Lord's about to uh, bestow into the elect, but when we be those men, hey, we better come to where we're at it. Well, the Lord gonna use us to break down uh, entire nations. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he said with you, with, he said with you, you gonna break forth the kings. You gonna break down their armies, man. All right. He said that he was going to create you as a as a weapon, as a uh, a threshing instrument of death, basically, yep. man. With teeth. With teeth. <laughs> so imagine the power, and that's going to be the anger Ooh. of Yahweh Shem Yahushua that's going to be a, upon the elect when they take this shit over, man. You see? Revelation two and twenty six. So like, yeah, hold that. Oh, that one. Daniel seven and uh eighteen. Take the kingdom. Take the kingdom. Give yep. me that. Yep. Daniel seven. Daniel seven and eighteen. Then we'll bring that. Okay, because hey, a takeover is coming. That's all part of the reward as well. You know, you think we're gonna get them new bodies and not use them? <laughs> not put not put that pure power to the test? Man, hey, we go ahead, I. So Daniel 7 and 18? Yeah, uh, Daniel 7 and 18. Yeah, come on. Daniel 7 and 18. The saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. The saints of the most high shall take, all right, seize to take by force. Yep. The saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. Go ahead. And possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. That's a yep. that's eternal rulership, yep. man. Yep. The saints of the Most High are gonna take the world by force, man. Okay. Yep. Which is beautiful because when the scriptures it tells you forever, that's a superior to time. It it reemphasizes forever and ever and ever, <laughs> meaning there's never gonna end. Eternal. That's that world without end. That's an eternal rulership. Come on, man. Daniel or Salakia, Revelation two and twenty six. 25, it's, sorry, 25. 25. Revelation 2 and 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. It says, and, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. To him, to the ones that, that keep the works of the Shem Yahweh Shai to the end, the Lord promised that you was going to have power over the nations. It's the same thing that uh, uh, that uh, uh, Yahweh Shai told Peter when yep. he asked him. He said, basically, what, we, what, what shall we get in return for following you, man? Yep. The Lord is going to give you complete power over the nations, man. That's full glory, dominion, rulership, authority, the keys of David, man. Go ahead. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with the rod of iron. Uh -huh. And as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. There you go. So the elect, the 144,000, that, govern, that governing body, that true government that's going to be set up over the earth, all right, in the universe forever, is going to have full dominion over the nations. Yep. 
All right, the hundred and forty-four thousand are, are they're going to uh, they're going to establish the law in the world. Yep. The law, statutes, and commandments. They're going to they're going to establish that in the earth. Okay, just like how we're ruled over the laws of Esau in this yep. realm. Yep. When the kingdom of heaven is brought in, the one hundred and forty-four thousand, the elect, the house of David, is going to establish the laws in the earth, man. Yep. You see that? Give me Psalms two, eight through ten, and then uh, Revelation. Uh, uh, Five, nine, and ten. That's my point. That's pretty much, you know, wanted to bring out, man. Because we were dealing about the reward that's coming. All right, those new bodies. But the destruction had to play out first, you know? Yep. This is uh, Psalms chapter 2, verse 9. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. There you go, man. We're going to dash the nations into pieces, man. The ones that don't want to uh, uh, abide by the laws, statute of commandments, you'll get put to death. All right, go ahead. Uh, verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be wise now, O therefore, ye kings. Go ahead. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth, man. We're going back to that glorified state like it tells you in uh, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 26. He said that he was going to establish his judges and counselors as from the beginning. Yep. All right? Yep. Those, those first spirits that were with Yahweh Shah from the beginning of, of, of everything, man. Yep. He's going to put them back in their righteous, uh, uh, righteous lot. All right? Okay. Yep. Second. Uh, Revelations uh, 5 and 9, right? Yep. Revelations 5 and 9. And, the song, and, the, and, they, and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book to open the seals therefore thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed us by Yahweh Shai and by the blood out of every kindred yep. and tongue and the people and nation uh -huh. and has made us unto our God kings and priests and we sh shall reign on the earth yeah yeah so not only the elect not only the elect are kings, but they priests too. Yep. Because what is the pre what is the role of the of the, uh, of the priest? Is to what to establish the law. Yep. Okay. Yep. So not only we're going to be kings governing and dominating the nations, right? But we're going to establish the law, statute, commandments back in the earth. Yep. We're going to uh, 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 we're going to assist in, in, in Yahweh Shai of reestablishing the righteous way back into the earth, man. Okay. That's all going to come. That's all. That's all part of the rewards that, as is written in the scriptures, man. Yep. That's going to come to the elect and Lord willing, we those men. Yep. See that? Because it tells you that in Isaiah the second chapter that all the nations are going to flow into Israel. Exactly. That that's the, the establishment of the order. Yes. You're speaking about all the nations going to be in line with, with what it says in Isaiah the ninth chapter, uh, which is the government that's going to be upon his shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. So all the nations are going to abide underneath that. You know. They're going to be completely in order. Yeah. And when they're not, they're going to get put to death. They're going to get punished. Yeah. And then, guess what? They're going to be completely in order. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know? Shit, that's what happened to us. You know? And they think throughout the generations, the heathen are going to still live and die, though. Yeah. We're going to be immortal. That promise don't come to them. Exactly. But they're going to still live and die. We're going to remember them in their time in the spirit. Oh, that was something. something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you're going to know who these people yeah. are. Oh, he's back again. Yeah. Remember, he was bucking up. <laughs> and that's heavy. Because uh, being being made being made like the Lord, being yep. uh, made perfect like that, meaning you're going to have full knowledge yep. of all your past reincarnations, yep. man. So you're going to know everything, yep. man. Yeah, I wish I did. You see? We're going to be able to read. The, the scriptures say that the Lord will read, read their thoughts. We're going to be able to know their thoughts. That's heavy. When they say some wicked shit in their mind. Man. <laughs> man, it's going to be... That, be and that shows you uh, 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 the type of level we gonna be yeah, on, man. We gonna be on a whole nother level, level, man. Yep. You gotta, you gotta just imagine that, man. But these are all the rewards, you know. I'm gonna get that I have not seen. Come on, man. See, that's the thing. I have not seen. You know. We can't even explain it to you in nah. words. Nah. You know. And we got the scriptures, but we still can't. I Come mean, on, man. We don't do it no justice. Exactly. First Corinthians two and nine. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him. And yes, we're going to be on other planets. Yep. We're going to inhabit the other planets. Didn't Yahweh Shai said that in my father's house, there are many mansions. Yep. He said, I go and prepare a place for you. Yep. So yes, we're going to dwell amongst those other uh, uh, other planets, man. Yep. That's why, he, that's why the Most High 
the Lord is teasing Esau. He got the damn telescopes. He can see the other planets and all that, but he ain't gonna never get there, man. But that's for us. That's part of the glory of paradise, man. The kingdom of heaven, you know? And, it, and it's so beautiful because when the Lord said that, when Yahweh Shah said that, you know, that he, he's going to prepare a place for us, right? And his father's house has many mansions. The, the Most High said that the earth is his footstool. Come on, man. So you know he ain't talking about here. We, we gonna, we, we're, we're not going to never uh, die. We, all we're going to do is keep multiplying and multiplying. So we're going to overpopulate. Israel's going to overpopulate this Ooh, little earth. Get that. Uh, <laughs> Isaiah 54, uh -huh. where the Lord said that I will uh, enlarge the place of thy tent. Give me that real quick. It's like Isaiah 54, verse, I want to say like verse 2, verse 3. Yep. Verse 2. Isaiah 54 and 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Right, so this earth, okay, this earth is going to be expanded, all right? And then on top of that, like the brother was saying, Israel is going to multiply and they're going to inhabit the, the other earth, the other planets, man. You see? That's all part of that. It's all part of the blessing. It's all part of the world to come, man. You know? You got anything else? Yeah, yeah, I got something. Now, one more thing. Yep. Read that one more time, bro. Okay. Isaiah 54 and 2. Enlarge the plates of thy tent. Let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitation. Yep. Spare not the lift of thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. Hey, and we're also, we're going we're, we're gonna to maximize the full potential of the planet Earth, man. See, they'll tell you, these devils will tell you that the earth is overpopulated. The earth ain't fucking overpopulated. Nowhere man. near. No, 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 not even close. And it's parts of the earth that this man hasn't even discovered yet, yep. man. But he got the nerve to sit <clears> up <throat> on a damn platform on a panel and tell you that the earth is overpopulated and we need to kill people and reduce the population, man. That's why, hey man, when the Lord, when the Lord raised up his men, it's over for you damn devils, man. With that power, and when the Lord come back with the angels, man, it's over. It, it is over for him. And, and just to, just, just to um, land back on what you're saying before I bring this precept, Go on. you have um, the Amazon River Basin, and then you got, uh, um, I'm mean, excuse me, the Congo River Basin, and, and, and the Amazon rainforest are the two biggest uh, um, uh, um, rainforests in the world, and, and they're the size of, of, of they're bigger than most countries. It's a third of the size of America, so they haven't even went all the way through, and because it's so dense. Yeah. All, all of what's in there. Yep. Esau flies over and drops shit down in there to try to see what's yeah, in there. Yeah, exactly. He can't even go in there. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. Think about a rainforest a third of the size of America, man. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then another one on the other side, you know, of, of the planet. Yeah. Or, or, or over in the land of Ham, which people call Africa today. Yeah. So this man, he don't know. He don't know what's in the depths of the sea. Exactly. You see? It, it's new, newfound creatures in the sea every fucking day. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I was watching a, uh, a little documentary. Pretty much Esau found like a little, a, a denser level of water in the bottom of the sea. And he's like, the submarine just bounced off that motherfucker. That's, 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 that's why the scriptures say what he had created bounds that, that, he, can't, that, that he can't pass. Yeah. He's trying to go see, trying to find Leviathan. Yeah. He better stop playing. You know? Up. So there's parts in the heavens he can't reach. There's parts in the ocean he can't go to. Hey, there's different parts of the earth that he can't go to, man. That's why when you read oh, yeah, Jeremiah, I think it's Jeremiah, was it 33? That he tried to basically search out the earth oh, yeah, yeah. to do away with the covenant yep. that, that the Most High established with King yep. David and Israel, man. Yep. But he can't do that. Yep. You know? the, Lord, the Lord posed a challenge to him. Exactly. He said, well, Esau, if you can do that, then, then I'll, I'll do, do away with the covenant. He said, shit, he trying to do it. <laughs> most High laughing at him. He laughing at him. How the bro. brother laughing is how the Most High laughing at him. Come on, man. He's like, this dude is funny. You know? was this, uh, there was this article uh, done by Voyagers and it was talking about how much of the earth is truly undiscovered. Thank you, that's beautiful. And it mentioned 65% of the earth is Damn. unexplored. 65% of the earth is unexplored, Damn. man. That's by Esau's estimation. Yeah, 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 that's by, yeah exactly. <laughs> Which is still mind-blowing. Come right. on. Damn, think about it. He ain't discovered nothing. God. He ain't even scratched hey, the surface. And, and even in Esau's estimation, two-thirds, two-thirds of the earth. <laughs> Come on, man. This shows you that this nigga's a liar, man. But see, when the Lord set us up, if we those men, if we are part of the house of David, that, oh, that elect, man. that governing body, we're going to have access to all that, man. We're going to know everything, man. We're going to have all the knowledge, all the, you know, we're going to know all that. That's heavy, though. That's a beautiful point. I wanted to make one point about the curtains. You know, because you talked about the curtains. Yeah. And I got a precept here going into that. Read that one more time, my okay. I'm going to bring this precept. <clears throat> That's all I got for you. Back in Isaiah 54 and 2. 
enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Uh -huh. Spare not, lift thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. Yeah, so going into those curtains. Isaiah 40 and 22, it says, it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth mm. and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. So the Lord is looking down from, from, from the heavens and he said, the people on the earth, they look like grasshoppers to him. And I was like, to use an analogy, it's like when we see ants. Yep. Look down, you look at little ants. Right. That's how that's how the vantage point <laughs> from the heavens is. The most high looking down, Daddy. the people like grasshoppers. Now Daddy. here's why. It says, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain. We're going into the going into the curtains. You know, he said the earth is his footstool. Yep. It says, he stretched out the heavens as a curtain and spread them out as a tent to dwell in. Mm -hmm. See? So the heavens, the heavens are so vast. Yeah. But go down Space, a little more. all that, man. It's so vast. No end into it. This is how you know it is. Verse 25, Isaiah 40 and 25, to whom then would you liken me, or who shall be my equal, saith the Holy Ooh. One? Lord, yeah, he said, who, 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 who is like me? Verse 26, lift up your eyes on high and behold, who have created these things that bringeth out their host by number. Man. He calleth them all by, the, by their names, by the greatness of his might, for he is strong and in power, not one fell it. This is the ancient of days. Yep. All right? Meaning, there is no time with the Lord, man. Yep. He was before time, days, minutes, months, and years existed, man. Yep. He's before all of that, the ancient. Yep. All right? He set up all these things, man. Yep. That's mind-blowing within itself. Yep. <laughs> Your bug out trying to figure that out yourself. Yep. <laughs> you know? It, it, it said the host of uh, uh, the heavens, he know them by name. And that lines up with Psalm 147, yep. where he said he, he got all the stars n uh, numbered and named. Yeah. The most high actually knows <laughs> all the stars. He saw him say there's so many billions of them. The most high know every one of them. Oh, and he got a name for all of them. That's heavy. <laughs> That shows you Isaiah, what, 55? Yeah. Where he said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your, your ways, ways my ways. ways. Yep. Dude, his, his, his mindset is way above mortal man. You see that? Even tells you 2nd Ezra 4 and 2, that, uh, that your mind has gone too far in this world, world. to understand. The the, yeah, come on, man. You can't comprehend the, you can't the, comprehend the mind of the Most High, man. Whew, man. Let me, let me bring that precept out. I said, let me bring it. Let me just you got it, brother. bring it on. Psalm 147, here's that precept. Psalm 147 and verse 4. It says, he telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them all by their name. He numbered every <laughs> single star, man. This is the power we serve, Ooh. man. He numbered every he, he numbered every single star that you can see or that you can't even see. Yeah, that you can't even see. A little bit more. Verse 5. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. Ooh. Showing you there's no end. <laughs> He the ancient of days. That's all I got, bro. You know, nigga, nigga hey, Esau Ooh. wicked ass be like, well, who created the most <laughs> <Yeah>. high? <laughs> who created the father? He the ancient of days. Yeah. He has no beginning yeah. or end. <laughs> it's too much. But see, it's too much for him. That's what the Lord said. His wisdom, King David was saying that. The Lord was showing him all these miraculous yep. things. He Dude. said, your wisdom is just too high. I can't even. Come on, man. And think of how great King David was. And the Lord, he was like, I just can't even. But Esau thinks that he the most high. Well, well, this has to be this because right. I did a study in. Yeah, yeah, through our analysis. <laughs> right. You know? You know, science, that's what he throws science. I'm telling you, man. Niggas believe in science. Niggas believe in Esau. Man. When you read when you read these words, there's no way in hell these words don't compel you. If, if they don't strike something in you to, to want to serve the Lord, that show you that, that the vast majority of our people are not, they're not of that number, man. Exactly. There's no way in hell. That's why the Lord don't kill the majority of them. Exactly. Because these words, these words don't, don't, don't hit a nerve in you and your spirit. The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. man. No way. Anything else? Yeah, one more. Yeah. Just yep. back up. Hey, man. Uh, just the different levels of oh, how much you are shy. And man, man. Uh, first Corinthians 1 and 25. <coughs> because the foolishness of Yahweh is wiser than man, Whew. and the weakness of Yahweh is stronger than man. Whew. Right, man. So, hey, on our Lord's Which word, we hey, beautiful. we can't, hey, no man on the earth can see the Lord, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Just to back that point up. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It said the weakness. And we looked at it as those weak things. So we looked at it as weak. But, think, but just think of the understanding the Lord has allowed us to tap into. Yeah. They still, the world is still, uh, uh, even though we are looking at those weak things, to the world, think about the understanding that we have. They don't have this understanding. Yeah. They can't go on this word and tell you what's going on. They can't tell you all these things about the most high. Yeah. They can't tell you nothing. But the weak things are still stronger than, 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 than anything the world got to offer. Yeah. You see? Found in the wise yeah. man as well, too. Yeah. You know? Because this is the true knowledge. 
you know, and we and the Lord allow us allowed us to possess it, you know. So that's a beautiful thing, man. That's why it's, it's crucial to not take this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for granted. That's right, you know, because I was we was rapping with the brother, you know, we we possess something that billions of jakes on the world yep. don't have, man. Yep. At least in our steed, Lord willing, we have a fighting chance. Yep, we do. To make it, man. Yep. Compared to the rest of our nation, man. Yep. And that's something to not to take lightly, man. You know. Yep. But hey, that was it, man. Yep. Hey, then we pray that this uh this camp was edifying for all you sincere listeners that was tuning in. All right, we're gonna close it out by giving all praises, all honor and glory to the Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us the truth. Double salutation to all you Akim out there laboring in the house of David that's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom. 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 Shalom.